at Bree Books National Young Authors Fair 2023. And it is with great pleasure and enthusiasm that we gather here today to celebrate the creativity, imagination and passion of young writers from across the country. We embark on this new chapter with greater enthusiasm and commitment to nurturing the literary talents of tomorrow. I am your host Varnika Mehta and let's see what the event has in store for us. So a few minutes ago, I was uh, downstairs and, uh, and a sweet child came to me, ran over to me and said, you made my dream come true. I always wanted to publish a book. And, uh, and when I go back into the journey of uh, Brie Books, uh, that was the dream. To give children the ability to think about something, to convert this thought into something that you can print, into something that you can sell, into something that actually have a value, that gives you a meaning, that you understand that your dreams and your thought have value in this world. And you, all of you, are representing the children and the parents that took it to the extreme, that wrote exceptional book about exceptional stories, and some of you even took it to the way, all the way to publish and selling thousands of books in more than 70 countries. So first of all, congratulations. Please clap your hands. Today's event is special as we are joined by a representative from a country rich in cultural heritage and literary traditions. Joining us today to celebrate the imagination and creativity of our young authors is the Ambassador of Israel to India, Naor Gilon. And with Ambassador's presence here today, we are reminded of the power of literature to transcend boundaries, foster understanding and unite us all in the shared love of storytelling. Good afternoon everyone. I'm really excited to be here today. I must confess that I go to quite many events, but this is a very special event. It's a special event because it's a, a, an event with children. It has many, many elements why I love the event. So, sir, we saw you spoke to a couple of young authors. Uh, is there any author that stood out for you or uh, perhaps a book that you might be adding to your reading list? Well, it's overwhelming to see 200 uh, books together. So I got uh, the present. Some of them gifted me their books and I'm very privileged. And when I go back home, I'll, uh, I'll start going through the books. And, uh, you know, as a chief guest at the Young Authors uh, Fair, what message would you like to convey to the aspiring young authors uh, about the power of storytelling, you know, in shaping perceptions? I think it's extremely important what happens because our world is going away from the written word into the social media and uh, people don't read a lot. I think India is still a beacon of uh, where printed press and printed books are still, still have value and interest with the population. And this is very important because this is how you, key, you build the imagination of people. You made them, make them aware, knowledgeable. This is part of our world today, the problem that people are buying their or getting their information from social media, which is not screened and not always reliable. And people don't read anymore. And I think this writing and reading is extremely, extremely important to continue it so we don't become ignorant and living in a, in a world of false and, and alternative news. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you Thank for talking you. to you. us. Schools play a major role in nurturing talent, fostering creativity, and cultivating a love for literature. And these schools are being honored here today at Brie Books National Young Authors Fair. Through dedicated educators, innovative programs, and supportive environments, these schools have empowered children 
to explore the limitless possibilities of storytelling, weave narratives that captivate and provoke thought. We will start with India's number one literary leader, Modern School Barakhamba Road. Next up we have 21K School as the most innovative school. We have next Anand Niketan Maninagar branch. Next we have Delhi Public School Vasant Kunj. And the next set of awards represents the highest level of recognition bestowed upon our young authors, chosen by a panel of esteemed judges for their exceptional literary achievements. Let's take a look at the jury awards. I would like to call on stage Shipra Morekar as India's number one jury award winner for her book, I See Comet Takes the Space. Jahan Vaishnav, author of The Cosmic Odyssey of Atticus. Next up we have Shreya Sharma, author of Pitter, Patter and the Tiger. So we are first joined by Shipra Morikar who has written around 13 books and she submitted 4 just for this competition. And her book, I See Comet Takes Girl to Space, won the jury award for the Golden Pen Award. Shipra, thank you for joining us and thank you for speaking to us and congratulations on the award. Tell us what has the journey been like? What inspired you to write this book? I am fascinated about space and its wonders and I have done many courses. One day I realized that if an asteroid hits Earth, all, all life on Earth will go extinct. So I helped find two asteroids. In, a, in two competitions. It's quite overwhelming but at the same time it's exciting. So my name is Jahan Vaishnav. I am the author of The Cosmic Odyssey of Atticus. My book is about a young boy who is uh, very interested in space and uh, all that. Uh, his mother brings curiosity for him and that's how uh, the person, the space traveler inside him uh, grows up. So when he grows up, like when he is an adult now, he travels to other planets for the sake of humanity and meets aliens and all that. I also have a keen interest in cosmology and astrophysics and one of my idols, uh, Mr. Jules Verne, he is a French writer. Uh, he inspired me to write such kind of books which are beyond uh, any normal human imagination. My name is Shreya Sharma. I'm eight years old. I'm from Nija Modi School, Jaipur, and I've authored the book Peter Patter and the Tiger. So let me quickly introduce you to my book Peter Patter and the Tiger. In brief, it is a story about a beautiful village named Zozila, and the villagers lived in fear of a ferocious tiger named Ugra. But the story has an unexpected, happy and hilarious end. The main element is the mystery and funny sequences of events at the end of the story, due to which even the villagers don't know why the tiger disappeared. Now the next set of awards recognize not only the exceptional talent and creativity of our young authors, but also the incredible impact their stories have had on the readers far and wide. Let's take a look at the best-selling author awards. Kea Hathkar as India's number one best-selling author for her book, I Am Possible. So Kea Hathkar is with us now and she's the national best-selling author. Kea, welcome back to the show. Tell us uh, about your journey. How have you grown as an author from the last time we met at the first season of the National Young Authors Fair till now? So, I've always been an avid reader and I used to write a lot of short stories in my diaries. But the fact of writing a book never came to me till I was introduced to Brie Books NYAF by my English teacher in school. Is there any message that you'd like to give to the budding authors? 
a good book has a well developed plot free flowing and meaningful language and it should be suitably illustrated with images the reader should feel engaged both intellectually and emotionally and a good book should have a purpose which shines through and impacts the readers miss binasha adil dastoor for aurelia's magical train my name is miss binasha adil dastoor my book's name is aurelia's magical train it's about magic it's about a girl who is lost in the forest and a whisper sent her in the forest to find something precious tell us how does it feel to be here and how did bee books uh, help you in this journey of writing i feel very proud that i have written a book so uh, bee books helped me to complete my dream because it was my dream to write a book so bee books helped me um, very much and i say that bee books is the best writing platform next we have ahana chandrani for her book magicella and her two my name is ahana chandrani uh, and my book is related to many people whose milk teeth falls out and they get a small gift sometimes under their pillow and this connect with them and how do you, how does it feel being here were you expecting that your book will win the best selling author award i i really didn't know it was just a surprise that popped up great so like do you have a message for the authors like to not be scared when they're writing and um anything like that i have a small letter like out here so it's like Don't be afraid, my child. This darkness is like a blindfold entry to a fantastic surprise. So whenever first there's uh, always darkness, and then there's like a happy moment. Like on your birthday, your mom blindfolds you, and then you get a amazing surprise when the blindfold is open. Next, we have Neha Nitya for the Soul's Labyrinth. I'm Nehal Nitya. Um, I'm of grade nine from Shrimati Salochna Devi Sanghania School. Um, I have written this book well from a suggestion from my friends. Great. And tell us a bit about your journey of writing. Did you face any challenges while writing this book? My journey of writing. So, as we write books, or as we read books, being an avid reader, it transports us into another realm. a realm of our own imagination and as the last pages the last few words of the book unfurl we we not we usually notice a void of sadness of parting with our books but what we don't realize usually is the seeds of empathy and wisdom which has been instilled in our brains by the characters so my writing journey was not one which usually people write it was one word one sentence at a time and stories paragraphs weave through and that's how this book came into existence next we have adya dubey for galaxy and adventures hello i am adya dubey so i have written this book galaxy and adventures so it's about a little girl named eva who loves space and her journey to a new world and how did bee books help you uh, with the writing of this book bee books helped me a lot it uh, fixed my errors in writing which i re- which i was really thankful for because uh, you might not know me but i do a few wrong punctuations now and then and uh, i just loved the covers it was just amazing i saw the new world i i have i the name of it is like galaxia it's a new world which we haven't discovered yet so i need something magical it gave me just the right thing it showed a girl with ponytails going into a beautiful like i don't even know like a multiverse we are slipping into a very short break but after the break we return with more awards for the best selling authors stay tuned
we have Eva Sahajpal for Arable Minor. My name is Eva Sahajpal and my book is about a girl who had no hobby, just kept on watching TV or like feeling bored. But one time she went outside, went, was looking out of the window and saw a meter falling and it was like very mesmerizing for her so she uh, just after that, she started stargazing every night, and that time she saw um, she saw uh, many stars, and she made a discovery. She saw a star, and she named it Arable Minor. And she even asked her parents for a telescope, and they bought it to her for a Christmas present. Next, we have Adidev Raj Singh for Sukh the Magma Dragon. So my name is Adidev Raj Singh. I am from grade 7 and I study in the Adi school. So basically my book is about uh, a boy named Alison and his best friend uh, is a dragon whose name is Greeny. So they are basically trying to save the world. Uh, in the middle uh, while they are saving they see a large massive red dragon who can blow magma out of his mouth. So inspiration basically like I have a big interest and uh, like learning about dragons and dinosaurs. Like I know a lot about them so I thought why not write a book about it. It will be pretty fun. So Brie books helped me a lot like while I was writing it like gave me ideas like what all I can add. Next we have Rizwan Maklai for the headless pumpkin mascot. Hello everyone. My name is Rizwan Maklai and about my book, it's about a football player. His name is Jay. He's not just a football player, but also a bully from, to his fellow teammates, coaches, especially the mascot with a pumpkin mask. So the mascot decided to teach him a lesson. You better read this uh, and then you'll know what will happen. Next we have Nirvana Agarwal for the A to Z of Oxford. Uh, my name is Nirvan Agrawal. I study in stage 8 and I study in a public school. I have come from Durk, Chhattisgarh. Uh, my hobbies, I like to read, I like to travel a lot and at home while I'm free, I like to make jigsaw puzzles and Legos. Yeah, and tell us a bit about your journey, uh, the whole process of writing. Did you face any challenges? Uh, well, from the beginning, I've always been really good at English. My vocabulary has been strong, mom. So not really face any challenges, but of course there were some obstacles which mom helped me face really well. It's like how do you decide what will be the subject of your book? Everyday life was the subject of my book. Mostly nature and surroundings. It was an opportunity that just came up. I like didn't know that you could publish a book before I got to know about Brie books. According to me, a good story needs a good plot. You don't need big and difficult words. One can use simple vocabulary to write a perfect book. As we bring down the curtains on this extraordinary gathering of literary talent, we take with our stories that have touched our hearts and dreams that have captured our imaginations. The Brie Books National Young Authors Fair 2023 is truly a celebration of imagination, creativity and boundless potential of our youth. Thank you to all the young authors here, the educators, the guests and the supporters for making this event a resounding success. Until we meet again, I hope your pens are ever ready and your stories shine bright in the world. I am your host Varnika Mehta. Goodbye and happy writing.